I'm about to just get up, y'all. Yeah, let's start this day. <sighs> tired, tired, tired. what we're dealing with snow 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 but mom is here oh, say yes. good morning good morning <laughs> even in all this snow it is cold as a monkey feet it's cold as monkey feet y'all all right we about to get in here and get it done i'm stretching so i'm gonna go over there and stretch then i'm gonna do like 10 minutes on the treadmill then i want to do this so i'm gonna do this today to see how i feel and how i like it and see what my burn is doing that. So, be back, y'all.
a tour of this area that I want to start today and show me some of the machines I never like What's seen before. You set your weight. Uh huh. You pull it out. You remember with these? Is that like which one we just seen? Is it similar to that one? But not, it's just different. Oh no, because it's getting the back and okay, different part. Okay. All right, Marv Ivers, so here we go. I'm getting ready to start. So basically, you can start with the equipment and then go to this, then go to the equipment, go back to one of these, and it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I didn't realize it until halfway through that there's numbers to show you start on this one, then start on that one, then start on this one. So I'm learning, but I'm pushing through it. And as I'm learning, I will get better at it, understand the equipment more, and get this body in shape, y'all. So let's get started. I'm going to speed it up so you can watch me go through the circuit. Guys, it's really difficult for me to record, and um, for some reason, my camera start acting funky, but the devil is a liar. I will continue to share my workout. I just picked up the phone and recorded. I restarted the phone and picked it up and was showing you while I'm on the machine because it just was not doing right. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of the workout with the camera in my hand. So you see in my view of the workout and then um, I'm going to get the camera right so that I can share with my revivers so we can revive our lives and get ourselves together. Ladies and gentlemen. So let's keep going. And I'm going to speed it up after this uh, clip and get back into the workout. <sighs> this is so weird. Like that machine, I'm so tall, so it was weird for me to sit on it. But it's my first day doing it. So awkward. I now I left this clip in for a reason. I want y'all to know I get winded. I feel like I want to pass out. I feel like I want to quit, but I don't. I keep pushing, keep pushing. You won't re see results right away, but as time goes on, every little bit of what you're doing is coming towards what you're looking to achieve. my music in my ears. But oh well, so light is red. So I get to go to the next machine. That's this one. I'm gonna get this recording much better. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm just sharing what I'm doing this morning. Guys, push through it. Push through it. Am I in pain? Yes. I'm telling you, my joints, my legs and everything, I'm feeling the burn. I'm feeling it. It is something that if you don't do today, you will have to do tomorrow. We will not see results overnight. We didn't get this weight on us overnight. And while I'm talking to you, I'm encouraging myself as well because I am 5'7 and I'm holding almost 300 pounds on me. 300 pounds is 300 pounds. Whether you're short, tall or whatever, it is too much weight for a body. And so with that being said, I decided to take on this journey so that I can share with you and also share the ups and downs of it because some people make weight loss so perfect and it's like, oh, this is where I was and this is where I am. No, I want to share the journey so you can see where I was and watch me get to where I am and inspire you if you're my size smaller bigger or whatever to push through the pain if you start on something like this the next day you are going to be hurting even more the following day because you are waking up muscles you haven't used let's push we got this guy I was cleaning off all my machines so that as soon as I was done we went straight over to our massage area so we got to go get massages all right out there to the winter cold and this is my burn hold on my burn for today and i shall see y'all later i'm home right and um i think that i'm gonna take this later on today because i need to go to sleep it's like five o'clock five something all right i'm gonna take this today i'm gonna take this today i'm gonna guzzle that on the end of this video before the end of this video i need to guzzle that down so this morning was oh i felt good because i wanted to get into getting into my muscle work 
and muscle, you know, body workout. That alarm should, oh, I forgot she never fixed it from when the time went up. Is it went up? Or is it, I don't know, whatever. But anywho, I hope y'all can't hear that. It's beeping, her alarm. So, um, this morning was a struggle. Oh, gosh, even if I was looking for my earphones, I ain't even, they wasn't even in my bag. I put them in my bag because they charged. I literally, um, my left knee was giving me issues. That's why I was doing the up and down, up and down slow. It was definitely giving me issues, but I pushed through it. And I know that, um, it's going to be a part of the struggle, um, with all this weight on me. It's going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to feel pains because I'm working my muscles that I ain't been working in a while like this. So my goal is to do um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the 30 minute workout. And then in between to be just like cardio days. So I'll do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Work, warm up for like 10, 15 minutes and then do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then after I, um, oh look, I don't shit my dog on fan of polish. After I do um, that workout, have my massage and be out just to make it faster so the videos will be able to be a little bit faster because it's not so much content I'm having to record to share but I want to share a workout every morning that I do those and then the cardio workout so that's my plan for this following week um to share that with you guys but you guys know that your Monday is always going to be my last Friday so this Monday um, is the first start will be your Tuesday. You get what I'm saying? You're always a day behind for those who are new. Um, my video that I put out on Monday is always from Friday. Then Tuesday is from Monday. I mean, yeah. Tuesday is from Monday. Wednesday is from Tuesday. Like that. You know, the day before is what you're seeing, um, when it comes to you. So that I can make sure I can get these out to you every morning. Hope this is encouraging and let me continue this day with my one meal a day. Well, really, y'all yeah, say one meal a day because a cutie or drinking some orange juice or something like that is not a meal. So I plan to drink liquids and maybe a little bit of coffee or um, eat a cutie, some grapes or something like that. If I really feel like I have to put something in my stomach, um, that's my plan. But other than that, I won't be eating dinner till about 6, no later than 7, and getting my calories in. And then that's it. And just water until the next morning. And I'm trying to do that for... Um, for this week, Monday through Friday. I don't know if we're going to do Monday through Sunday. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think I'm thinking Monday through Friday. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll let you know as the time goes. If I'm going to do Monday through Friday or um, Monday through Sunday. We'll see. All right, y'all. I'm tired. Let me go get in the shower. Bye. 30 and I'm preparing my dinner. I don't, this is weird y'all, don't laugh at me, but I had a taste for boiled eggs. So I'm going to do boiled eggs for dinner. I haven't eaten anything today, but two cuties, some coffee and some water. That is it. So for my dinner, I'm doing some chicken wings, um, little wing dings, some spicy chicken wings in the oven. I've been having a taste for spicy stuff too. So I'm going with that, which is better than me having a taste for sweets, which is amazing. Um, I got some broccoli with some complete seasoning on it and pepper, onion, and garlic powder. I am going to put that on after um, these are like halfway done in the oven. I'm going to make a cheese sauce for that. I feel like I want something cheesy, but I'd rather put it on the broccoli than to make like a pasta or something like that. So we're going to go with this. So I'm going to have that with my spicy chicken wings and I wanted a boiled egg. Weird, right? And I don't know what I'm going to have for dessert because I want my dessert when I eat my food because I want to get all the calories in at one time to fill me up for my meal for the rest of the night and I want to eat by no later than like 7, 7.30 and this is for me and mom. Hubby has chicken for them and they're making something different but this is what we're eating and stay tuned for what the meal looks like and I'll probably have, um, know what I'm eating for dessert. I'm thinking about some pineapple ice cream or something like that so I don't know. We shall see or just some pineapples i think i might just eat pineapples yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do some pineapples for dessert but i'll have it with my meal so that's my meal and i will show you it plate it a little bit later i'm gonna mix on them and i'm about to put them in the oven i i'm weird i like to boil the fat and the blood out of my chicken before i bake it so that's what i did and now i'm taking these and putting them in the oven so they can get crisp and the flavor can set into them Us with a little bit of Velveeta and um, cheddar cheese to pour over my broccoli that is steaming really well. I'm just gonna thicken up a little bit more. It's gonna be so good. 
my dinner, my wings, my eggs, and I had like a set of taste for like, well, I don't know if I tell you, I had a taste for like broccoli cheddar soup. So instead of that with the potatoes, I just made like sauce like I would do my soup. And, um, well, not exactly how I do my soup. I did more of a cheese sauce for broccoli. I have a ginger ale, and then I have some pineapples for dessert. So I'm going to see if I can get all this down. We shall see. We shall see. All right, y'all. My eyes is bigger than my stomach. Because I didn't even eat but two wings, and I feel like I'm... Let me see. Two wings, some of the, the broccoli stuff, one egg. Oh, and I gave my husband one so he could taste. And I ain't touched no pineapples. I did. Which one, babe? The chicken was under, huh? It wasn't right Hold up. Yeah, my husband's like, yeah, that's like when you be having Thanksgiving, you trying to hold your stomach for the whole day, and then you try to eat. I literally feel like if I keep eating, I'm gonna. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to come back to it. I'll let y'all know if I did or not, because I really. I'm going to keep drinking probably the ginger ale, but I feel. Excuse me. All right, y'all. I ate two eggs, a little bit more of the broccoli, and three wings. And I'm still drinking on my ginger ale. I don't think I'm going to be able to go back to that chicken and stuff. So what I'm going to probably do is um, if I feel like I got an appetite for something more, I don't know, I might save the chicken for tomorrow, but I might just um, munch on the pineapples. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking I might do. I already got stuff in the corner of my mouth. Oh, fuck. I might just munch on the pineapples, so that's where I'm at at this time. I just put fresh linen on my bed. I know I got multiples with this Kohl's uh, flannel set, so <sighs> I gotta cut these lights off. I'm just chillaxing, and basically I want to be in the bed by like 9 for, excuse me, for, um the gym so I can get a good night rest okay okay my mom just texted me she said to send her food over she feel weak she left um work early I hope she's okay I'm gonna have to call her alright y'all I'll talk to y'all but that's what I did and I'm being honest with y'all because not being honest with y'all is not going to benefit me. If I lie to y'all, I'm lying to myself because if I'm cheating and not doing something right, it ain't going to hurt y'all. It's going to hurt me. So that's what I did. And I'm saying that because I can't record everything and it'd be a lot every time I, okay, let me show you. I didn't eat this, you know, so I'm just going to tell you. And a lot of people don't even share most of what I share. So, um, yeah. I am up here with my little lazy self <laughs> laying down, chilling. I need to do my desk area. I need to do some decluttering and some organization and cleaning up over there again. It done got piled up since I've been working out. I haven't been focused on nothing but me. So, yeah, since it's a new month, I pulled the old calendar down and been doing some planning for this next month. Our family days and some stuff coming up, some surprises I got for the girls. So, I, um... But the wings were so tasty, y'all. Uh, the eggs were tasty. The oh, broccoli cheese sauce. Broccoli cheese sauce was so tasty. But my eyes was bigger than my head. And it felt like after a couple bites, my stomach was like, nope. So, yeah. So, I got to put that on my little list of what I ate today. And um, more than likely, I may not really have um, a really long confession. I'll let you guys know. It'll probably be really short today. So, I'll talk to y'all later. I got the eggs and the fruit and the chicken. I gave myself a couple hours. So I'm about to eat it because my stomach feels better. So I'm about to devour it. Right. You talking about some chug, chug, chug. Okay. I'm just cracking the seal. Okay. I'm speeding this up. I'm not about to play this slow. This is about to be sped up. Yeah, so yes. Oh, today, um, wow. I was a little frustrated. I was looking at myself in the mirror and, um, after I came home from the gym and, you know, you get times in your journey and, and this journey just started for me, but still, I know it's going to be a process and I know you're fine, baby. And I know I have to push, push, push. But when you look at your body, you just be like, oh. 
I can't wait to the day that I see the results. I can't wait to the day that I start seeing things change because it also makes you feel a little bit better about what you're doing, especially because what you're doing is a struggle because you're not used to living this lifestyle of eating healthy and moving your body. It's ridiculous. I literally was was kind of stumped today about the fact that my body was um just feeling not know that my mind was feeling some type of way about my body. Um, so yeah, you're going to go through that. So I'm just sharing this with you because you're going to feel that same way. You're just going to look at your body like, oh, keep pushing, keep pushing. You must keep pushing. And I said this early in the video, it didn't happen overnight. So it's not going to go off overnight, but it's going to be so worth it. Um, once you get through it and, and get to what, where you start to see the results, you start to see your work in action. Um, Okay, so earlier today, I was feeling some type of way. I feel like now that my mindset is made up to say, oh, this week I'm doing one meal a day, it feels like I want to eat and I'm thinking about food like crazy. But when I wasn't on a journey and I would just get up and didn't eat nothing until later on today till uh, like around one, two o'clock in the afternoon, it was nothing. So it's a mind over matter thing. I did pretty good. As you see, I, I broke my food up into two so I can get a lot of decent calories in. I broke it up into two. I ate half earlier and I felt like I was going to up chuck. I told y'all that in the video. So I had to push it away. My husband's like, babe, just give it like an hour or so. And I came back to it like ate something and I ate the rest. So it did go down pretty well. And I don't know if I should have did that, but I drunk the magnesium citrate within like 15, 20 minutes after I ate the food. But oh well, hopefully it'll push all this out and whatever else is sitting up there that I didn't push out before I started trying to eat a little bit better. So I don't want to make this long. That's my confession. That's kind of what I went through today. I wanted to give up on the one meal a day. So if you hear me say, oh, mad, that's one meal a day. Um, and what my goal is to not eat nothing like a full meal so I can eat a fruit, maybe drink some orange juice, some apple juice and a lot of water, lemon water throughout the day and coffee. If need be coffee did kind of help me feel a little better, too. I will say that I will say that I don't know why, but it did make me feel a little better. If somebody knows why. Let me know. But it did make me feel a little better. So I'm gonna make sure I get me some more coffee when I go to the grocery store next time because i'm out of it i think i got one pod left um i love that all these coffee so um that did make me feel a little better and then when i did get a real 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 strong craving i popped a cutie and that helped that did help to, sub to sustain me for those times where i felt like well i want to go downstairs and just get a big bowl of cereal or something like that so that did help i feel myself um uh, getting a little better with the choices of food that I'm eating. I know that my taste buds is going to start to change from wanting the sweet things and then wanting more of what I didn't used to want because I wanted some broccoli cheddar soup so bad. So that's why I made the broccoli with the cheese sauce without the potatoes. Just kind of mimics a sort of kind of broccoli cheddar soup, but not. So I did that and that's better than eating cheese rice or macaroni and cheese. So I'm trying to alter it and change it for what works for me because this is my journey and um yeah i see you guys gave me a lot of good suggestions so i'm gonna look into some of those things that i seen you guys saying um what else what else what else what else what else oh gosh that magnesium citrate is still like seem like it's still sitting all up in my throat and stuff so hopefully just this just pushes through i thank you guys once again for um the encouragement i thank you guys for the support i thank you for suggestions and ideas of things that i didn't think about i um decided not to go with the pineapple ice cream i didn't feel like mixing it up and doing all that but I will do that. If it's something that I eat that you're interested in me making, let me know. Because I'll set that as a separate video like on weekends where I know um, I don't have a video to put up or I don't have something specific. I can probably put that like how to make spicy wings in the oven or how to make spicy fish in the oven or whatever. Things like that. So just let me know. But all right, guys. Um, I'm, uh, it is oops, 8.47 and... I'm going to just lay here and kind of let this thing do its thing. And my goal is to try to be in the bed by 10. It's probably going to be a little later than that because this stuff going to be working on me. But, yep, that was my day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Guys, remember, stick to your script because you are the best at it. And if you are on this journey with me, let's push, let's push, let's push. We got this. All right.